We got something I got to watch for the first time. We got something I got to watch for the first time. Okay. New Cowboy Bebop out today. Um, oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. The Lost Jeff Session. Sub to Strange Time 67. All right. Here's what I'm going to say. I made a vow. I made a promise to the internet. I made a promise to this community that no matter what came out of the Netflix Cowboy Bebop camp, I would not trash it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, listen, I, I've said everything I can say about the Cowboy Bebop project. I, I don't want to beat a dead horse at this point. I think all I can say is uh, this obviously wasn't made for me or, or fans like me. Um, and maybe that's okay, right? Uh, I see people that are super juiced about it. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I just have to take solace in the fact that there are people who, um, maybe are going to discover this IP for the first time, or maybe are really going to enjoy, uh, uh, what, what, what this is, whatever this version of it is, um, maybe I just have to take solace in the fact that, you know, uh, Cowboy Bebop, it will be like the giving tree, right? Like Cowboy Bebop gave and it gave and it gave. And now I'm just an old man and Cowboy Bebop is just a stump. All that's left of it is, is a place for me to sit. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it hurts. It hurts that, uh, you know, I've been waiting for this project since the first time I heard it rumored that Keanu Reeves was f***ing around with it was like 10 years at this point. So I've been basically waiting for 10 years with the rumors and, and the rights moving around and um, la da la da blah 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 chowder. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. I, obvious. Okay. So that being said, uh, I don't want to I hate sounding like comic book guy, but again, you know, I saw it said, this is Scott Pilgrim. This looks like it's like based on a video game or like a graphic novel. Um, they had a lot of fun, obviously with the cowboy bebop intro. We've seen the intro kind of bleeding its way into almost everything. Um, and maybe that's as far as the new director got into watching Cowboy Bebop um, because it just seems to be the entire aesthetic. Um, I don't know if this is a separate project. I don't know if this was just intended to introduce the characters, but tonally, I, I, I don't know these characters. I, I don't really know these characters. Uh, they seem like kind of reimaginings of of the characters i knew uh um, for cool nefioka i don't know it just it feels like as i said it feels like a cw project it feels like a like the, what i brought up was was this scene and i just don't know how this new project is going to capture because that looked like it was all fighting right which is i guess fine for a promo but like when i think of cowboy bebop so little of it is like the action to me. Sure, there's like the red eye episode and there's like some really fun fights in it, but like what keeps me coming back is is like moments like this that are just like emotionally intense. You should see yourself. Do you have any idea what you look like right at this moment, Spike? What? A ravenous beast. The same blood runs through both. And like this. I don't think this was intended when they made it to look like it was 
like a stage play or like a cartoon or or anything. This was meant to be like noir. Like I want to see them in like a cathedral. I want to see oh, yeah. them. Wow, that's really like cool. Like in a church. You know what I mean? Both of us. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I hate to sound like this guy because every project tries to look like this. I wanted Cowboy Bebop to look like the the new Batman trailer, right? Like that's what I wanted. I wanted this I'm, grit uh, and gravitas. Ballsy. I don't take no shit from and anyone. If I've... this actually commits to the exploitation slash grindhouse style, I think it'll be pretty fun and goofy. Oh yeah, wow, that's really yeah. cool. Um, listen, that's what I, that's what I've been saying. Is I think there are some people that will enjoy this project, right? I'm a stud. Um, ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. This gave me Speed Racer vibes. That isn't a bad thing, but I don't think it works IP. See, okay, listen, let me, let me summate everything that was just said. I've said this, right? I, I'm really happy that people are going to get a kick out of this film. I'm really happy that this film is going to speak to, or this, this film project TV show is going to speak to people. But let me just make clear. I have pitched... Cowboy Bebop to people who have never watched the show probably a hundred times, right? Will, what are your anime recommendations? Recommendations, Cowboy Bebop. Will, what shows should I watch? Cowboy Bebop. Will, what's your favorite show of all time? Cowboy Bebop. Never in my life have I used the adjectives fun and goofy and speed racer style to sell that project. Ever, ever, never in my long-legged life have was I like, oh, you know what show is one of the hundred best shows of all time? What's that, Will? Cowboy Bebop. What can you tell me about it? Oh, it's fun and goofy. No, it's one of the darkest most tortured, introspective looks at what it means to be human ever captured on the screen. A man who knows that his vice is love and women and he's tracking down his ghosts. A man who lost his partner, a woman with no identity. It is people, it, it is a show about ghosts. It is a people it is a show about people tracking down their pasts and trying to make it work. People trapped in patterns. I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. It's really tough to make something as beautifully desolate, as serious yet humorous as Bebop. It packs so much yeah. in 25 minutes. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. Um, Six months can't wait for one year. Thank you so much. And I think that's my bottom line, guys, right? Every talk time I talk about Bebop, I get into a rant where I'm yelling and I'm impassioned and I'm red in the face. And I think that's the bottom line, right? It's hard to recreate a project in any medium that that makes people feel the way Bebop does, right? Bebop is, is like the only animated program on IMDb's like top 50 TV shows of all time. And there's a reason, Okay. And in that way, I think I'm being too harsh because in that way, Netflix was set up to fail from the very beginning. And I just have to accept that people are going to enjoy this and that's fine. And, you know, maybe what I have to accept, and I said this last time, is that great projects come to an end. Great projects come to an end. And maybe what I have to accept is that I am equally, if so, if not more so culpable for making this project than Netflix is, right? Because a 99 out of 100 remakes of Cowboy would have fallen short. And who were the people that were pushing it? People like me, 
right? Every time I saw the rumors, I was the one reading. I was the one sharing. I was the one writing on the internet. I was the one who created the hype. But did you make it to the Dune screening with Hassan? No, I wasn't invited. I was the one that gave a project like this legs because I was so eager just to see more of it. Instead of accepting that projects, all projects, all art, even my favorite art ends. And that's okay. So maybe the next time I see rumors about a live action samurai shampoo or another third Blade Runner or another Halloween or another one of these projects that I enjoyed 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I can say, nah, the original was great. And maybe I can just let it live there. Maybe I don't need to get all buzzed up and vote with my wallet and my time. Oh, that's for a cool. You and me both, brother. Bebop is my absolute favorite piece of media. Should have learned my lesson with Green Lantern. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, guys, the good news is people will enjoy uh, Bebop. There will be kids that enjoy the new Bebop. For cool. There will be adults proud of you. that enjoy the new Bebop. And at the end of the day, maybe that's all we can hope for is a new generation and some of the classic fans to get one more smile out of something they loved. Oh.